Hey now, it's the Rob and Kendra from Kiss 106. And we are here to tell you a little bit about this new drink that just dropped today. It's called the Chocolate Cherry Mocha. So at first I thought they said there was Chardonnay in here, but I mistakenly took that for like the cherry cordials or whatever I, those are I called. I saw you. That was, uh, that's called a Freudian slip, I believe. <laughs> it's wishful thinking. Yeah, it's wishful thinking. But apparently this tastes like a chocolate covered cherry. I've never eaten a chocolate covered cherry. You've never had like a chocolate cherry cordial? No, I don't even know what that is. Fun facts for the past, boy, since I was in like probably 7th or 8th grade, every year for Christmas, part of my gift to my mom is a box of chocolate cherry cordials from our really? local bakery back in uh, our, our candy shop from uh, Philadelphia. Oh my gosh, see I normally do like a chocolate covered strawberry, so anything chocolate covered cherry is kind of new to me. Cherry, um, I Trust me, cherries trump strawberries. There's coffee in here, so obviously I'm going to like it. Yeah, and I'm not even the biggest coffee fan, but I took a whiff, I, a smell. A whiff of it? And oh my gosh, it smells oh, like it a does, something I It does smell like the mm -hmm. chocolate covered, some, like a cherry, like there is a cherry It smells flavor. exactly like a chocolate I'm weird, cordial. I like to take the lid off of mine. Because I have, I have this fear of burning my mouth. Okay, and well, I, I'm going to leave mine on, I yeah, think. Yeah, you can do that. And then also, before we start drinking, we should remind people that supposedly Ooh, it pairs good. very nicely with... Now, what is this? This is a red velvet, like, loaf cake. So, sometimes you can get, like, a lemon one, or I think they're... Um, what is it called? Like, a coffee cake one? Okay. The lemon is my favorite. So, apparently... But this is supposed to be really good and paired with it. I think it's got that Valentine's look to it. Yeah, that's kind of what this is for, is Valentine's Day. And yeah. it's got, like, I like a, like, a marble rye kind of look to the bread. Yeah, that so, is true. At first I thought it was cake. marble cake. So, yeah. all right, so what do you want to try first, the drink? I think we should try the drink first. So let's all try right, it let's and then we'll have to follow it up with a bite. That is the weirdest but good flavor ever. No, see, okay, I'm not normally a coffee drinker. People assume that I am because I'm always up early. So I need my oh, that's coffee just to powered have... by whiskey, right? <laughs> um, something like that. You haven't gone to bed yet. That is very tasty. Does it taste like a chocolate covered cherry or whatever? I mean, I've never had one. So no, I, I mean it's got more of a coffee taste, but as far as coffee goes, yeah. And it needs whipped cream though. I'm already I'm ahead of you on the cake, by the way. I almost wonder if, if you can get it iced. I might even prefer it that way. I, would I prefer iced that. coffee. It's my favorite. Mainly because I have a big fear of burning my mouth. Mm. Like, I don't even like hot food. I'm so weird. This is so... Oh, my gosh. This is so good. I know. The icing parts are my favorite. Like, I don't think I've ever had Starbucks food before. Really? Mm -mm. They have really good hot sandwiches, too. Mm. Get it with the icing. The icing makes it. On a scale of 1 to 10 on the drink, where are you? On a scale of 1 to 10, the drink is an 8, and I'd like to try it cold, and it might be even higher. Okay. Mm, that is so good. And I'm going to give it... pair very nicely together. They do. I'm going to give it a 7. If it had whipped cream, or if it was iced, it might be better. That's but I bet you can get it iced. Our scores are like... They're they're very easy. It's like getting whipped cream is a piece of cake. Yeah. And putting it on ice, ice is also yeah. probably easy. So. And then this is really good too. However, I probably would still do my lemon with it, but I totally get the vibe of like the Valentine's red velvet. Sure. So if you're wanting to take your sweetheart to Starbucks for a date, um, I would definitely, this would be cool. It'd be like a fun, like themed Valentine's day date. Yeah. Brittany would love this, I think too. So. My husband would hate it, but that's just, <laughs> he would hate it. That's just him. If it's not a Miller Lite and a piece of pizza. <laughs> Like, well, listen, true American. I, I love pizza. <laughs> we'll be getting some pizza. Did you stuff. know Saturday is National Pizza Day? I probably should. You should know that. But I did not. I'm behind on that. You are. But overall, this is good. We picked this up from the Starbucks down here. If you didn't know, which I didn't know, or actually Rob didn't know. I didn't know. We were. Well. We have a Starbucks <laughs> at the Double Tree. I didn't even know that. So well, I had to pick up Starbucks before. And I'm driving all over. I'm going to like the Eastland Mall. Yeah. I thought that was our closest Starbucks. No. And then here we are. I literally probably drove past it to get there. You probably have. So yeah, yeah the one with the double tree is great. And uh, it was just, man, this is so good. You know, and they had it ready for us right when we got there. Like, curbside service. So if you want to check it out, it's definitely worth your while. Well, we're going to get back to just indulging in all this right. deliciousness. Happy Valentine's Day, Happy lovers. Happy Valentine's Day.